Hi, this is Amy. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is taking my list of citations. You can see on the left hand side of my screen, I'm using Google Docs. And what I want to do is turn these computer generated citations into a correctly formatted MLA style um, works cited page. So on the right hand side of my screen, I have the Purdue OWL MLA formatting and style guide open. This guide is a really extensive and up-to-date resource with lots of good information about the correct format as well as examples for uh, in-text as well as works cited page um, reference formatting and all of that. However, the MLA sample paper is one of my favorite things on this site because not only does it show you uh, what the um, individual citations are meant to look like, but also just the document overall, and specifically for this video, the works cited page. So I'm going to open uh, where it says click this link, and I'm um, already scrolled down. I just recorded uh, my video for uh, Microsoft Word, but anyway, um, you can scroll down to page nine, and that will show you the works cited page. So um, the first thing that I'm going to do on my Left hand side in my Google Docs is to change my font to Times New Roman size 12 to match the font of the example page on the right. So I have done that. Um, the double spacing is already in place, so that is one thing I don't need to do. Now, something I'm noticing when I copied these citations over is that the uh, italics did not come over. So I'm going to go through and just italicize the things that need to be italicized. So I want to format my individual citations correctly, but I also want to format the page correctly too. So I'm just starting with my citations one by one and fixing that issue. Something that I notice is going on in my third citation here is that we have our authors cited as last first. Um, with their names, how they're ordered, and then we have last first again. However, if you do look over here on the right, you can see it is meant to be last first and then first last. So I do need to move this person's name to get the order fixed here. Let's take out the space and comma, and now we're good to go. So um, another visually noticeable difference between my two pages is that on the right hand page, we have what's called a hanging indent where the first line of each citation is aligned to the left margin and then subsequent lines of individual citations are indented. Right now you can see I do have three citations on my page, but they're all aligned to the left and that makes it a little bit harder for a reader to quickly scan and identify one individual citation. So the way to get the hanging indent applied in Google Docs is to actually grab this little, um, I don't know, rectangle thingy. Um, and whoops, we don't wanna just do that. I guess we wanna grab the triangle thing, yeah. And move it over to um, 0.5 to half an inch and then move the rectangle back to the left to zero. And so that will um, get that aligned correctly. Okay, let's go ahead and space down and put in my label of works cited and I'm gonna make this full screen. I do want it to be aligned to the middle of the screen. Okay, hang on just a second here. Okay, um, so that's good. And we're also gonna be adding in our header here. So put my, um, Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Actually, what I want to do is insert, I think, or maybe go to options and click page numbers. Yes. And then I'm going to apply. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to type in my name. And then if I have more pages, it should automatically update the page numbers. Yeah. Okay. Um, finally, the last thing I need to do is actually, um, or not italicize, um, alphabetize these uh, citations on the page. So I'm going to actually just um, pull my citations drag them around the screen um, and that is how I do that for this then just enter and we are good to go so um, looks good I'm in good shape and hopefully this was a helpful video feel free to reach out to me or another librarian if you do have questions uh, your teacher may also be able to help and best of luck with your assignments